Hey guys, this is like the fourth time now I'm recording this video. I just, um, some crazy things happened where there was like two of me talking and I could not figure it out, but I am hoping and praying I fixed it. This is the coolest little hack ever. Um, I've known this has existed for a while. I just have never really used it and I kind of played around with it today and I wanted to show you. So, um, the first step is to lower exposure. I do this on every image or raise exposure depending on the exposure. Um, I'm gonna go with 2.2 for this one and I would lift up my profile a little bit. Now I wanna show you this hack. Come down to the HSL panel um, and there's this little circle up here in the top left. Um, go ahead and click that. And this is going to allow you to change the hue, sat, or loom of any color just by clicking any area of your image that you want to change. So um, I think this is going to be especially good for greens. I know a lot of people um, not necessarily struggle with greens, but don't necessarily love their greens. And this is a really good way to change them easily. Um, so I would always start with hue and click on a green area and just hold uh, left click and hold and just drag up or down and see how if you watch the um, if you watch the HSL panel you can see where it's dragging that slider for you um, let me see if I can find yeah see how now it's changing the oranges and the reds simultaneously so you don't have to you know, because a lot of times greens are controlled by yellow and green. And this way, you don't have to figure out where they're at. Any area of your image that you click on, it will automatically figure out where the colors are and adjust them. So I would start by clicking hue, um, finding where you like it, and then switch to saturation. And go ahead and click the same area or a different area of greens. Um, drag up and down. I mean, this is just the easiest, quickest, coolest way to change the colors in your image. Um, you can do this and then you can switch over to luminance and just really perfect any color in your image that you want to change. Um, you can do this on skin tones too. I can come over here and again, if you look in the, um, if you look in the panel, look at reds are moving and magenta. So um, this is my son and he does have a really ruddy skin tone. A lot of times skin tones are in the oranges, but in this case, um, they're in the reds and the magentas. So um, if I was to have to go in, you know, if I wanted to change a skin tone, which I, I don't in this image, I think it looks pretty good. But if I did want to change it, I would have to instinctively know to change the reds and the magentas, or I could do it the quick and easy way and just the, use this little color um, picker thing here. This is just so, so neat. And the other thing this is really good for is matching colors so let's look at our before and after and you can see it will zoom in you can see that his um, clothing is pretty drastically changed so let's see if we can fix that so let's make sure we're clicked on our little button here and we're gonna go to hue because that's gonna change the actual color um, so I'm just gonna click on the color I want to change right here on a shirt hold down the left key and drag up and down oops that was a little much and look um, that is in the blues and the purples. If you look over there, you can see how it's just moving the purple slider a tiny bit, and it's primarily moving the blue slider. Um, but how would I have known that that's like, what, it looks like maybe 10% purple and 90% blue? I wouldn't have known that. Um, but Lightroom's, you know, artificial intelligence or whatever this is can figure that out. So um, I would match it up there, and then it looks a little bit darker in the after so I would go to luminance and just go ahead and change that and again it's changing the purple and the blue luminance at the same time um, yeah I just think that's so amazing so this is gonna be great for um, weddings where you want really accurate um, clothing colors or I don't know really anything any image you want to kind of tweak and change this is just such a neat way to do it um, and let me show you one other thing here you can do the same thing with the tone curve and I did, I do have this trick in my tone curve tutorial, but I'll show it here in case somebody hasn't seen that. Um, sometimes with the 2.2 through 2.9, they're, they have a lot of um, brightening elements in the tone curve. Um, and this is, if you find that you're getting, that your skin tones are too bright with those 
um, presets, this is how you can fix that. So come up here, the same little icon here, just click it. And then I wouldn't click to make a new point. I would just um, hover over to see where your, where your skin tones are at. And if you look over in the box, you can see that they're right where I would expect them to be, um, right in the midtones, and that's where most skin tones are. Um, but yeah, so now I know that to, let's say I want to mute these skin tones a little bit, I would come to my midtone midtones here. It's just just below midtones, but I'm um, pretty close. So I could you know mute my skin tones a little bit, and then if that was too dark overall, I could just come back up and compensate with exposure. But I still have those more muted um, midtones and the skin tones. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I don't want to make this too long because I think you probably get the gist of it. Um, just such a cool you know little tool and like. Look at this, if I hover over this log, it kind of looks white, right? And that's what I would think, it's just white. But if you hover over too, you can see, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see on a screen recording. Um, I actually did just buy a new laptop, should be here tomorrow, and I think that will make, it's like a brand new MacBook, really one of the nice ones. I think that will end up making better quality videos, I'm hoping, because I know that these screen recordings are really um, low quality, but, if you keep an eye over here, um, all of, no, nothing is highlighted yet over here, but if I hover over the log, you can see that blue is highlighted. Um, and so, and a little bit of purple there too, actually, in the log. So yeah, just really, really a neat trick. I think it'll work perfectly for greens, you know, people that want a different, um, a different color green and aren't quite sure how to get there. I think if you play with this, you can get exactly what you want. So that's it. I thought that would be just really cool to show you guys. And um, yeah, that's that's it. I always have the most trouble ending a video. Like I feel like there should be a better way to end a video than just being like, all right, that's it, bye. But um, that's really it. Bye.